So if you're living in a climate like we have down here in the south, chances are your roof's gonna have some damage to it and get pretty weathered over time. Waiting for obvious signs of roof damage before you decide to get it checked may not be the best idea. In this video, I'm gonna go over some details that you should know about how to check for storm damage. I'm Joe with Roof Crafters, and in this video I'm going to go over everything that you need to know about storm damage and how to check for it. So first, you have wind damage, which is going to be the most prevalent type of damage that we usually see on roofs when it's storm related. Uh, when looking for wind damage, missing shingles are the first sign. If anything's blown off on the ground or you see anything missing on the roof, chances are that wind got underneath and blew that shingle off. Some of the other things that you can look for are going to be creases in the shingle, uh, a lot of granular loss, which happens over time when wind's blowing the shingles up. And then any types of cracks, uh, things like that in the shingle could all be a result of wind damage. Hail damage is gonna be the next kind of damage. This is pretty obvious and pretty easy to see. You're gonna see impact craters on the shingles. It's gonna have damaged the mat and the integrity of the shingle themselves, which caused them to leak. Some of the other areas that you can see wind damage is going to be on the soft metal, uh, gutters, screens, even dents in your car. A third type of damage is going to be falling debris, which will be pretty evident if you have a big limb on, on your roof. Um, but these can cause major impact and damage the decking or the rafter support system underneath the shingles themselves, as well as putting a hole or puncture in the shingle. Uh, this is something that you should definitely get looked at at ASAP to make sure that you don't have any structural damage and to get any roof repairs made. Finally, we have water damage. It's evident when you start to see damaged decking or leaks showing up inside of your house. Um, one of the ways that water damage can impact your shingles is if you have some falling debris or a limb that lands on the roof and it causes that water to get backed up, holted up like a dam. Having that standing water on top of those shingles is more than likely going to cause a leak. If you think you have storm damage and would like to schedule an inspection, please visit our website and schedule one today. We ask that you do everything in your power to provide a safe home environment for you and your family.